Hello YouTube, this is Dragonheart, and welcome to part 3 of my Parthia campaign for Total War Rome 2. If you remember from last time, we took Bukhara and then we lost Bukhara, but then our allies Dahe came in and retook it. I lost my army in Bukhara and now I have my full stack army here, which I'm going to send north. This army is going to go north. I'm going to go for Karth, I think. I think I'm going to try and expand my kingdoms north and see if I can take some provinces over there. Um, we do have one small At your army here. The executors of the fire of great purpose. So, um, we probably could recruit a couple of spearmen for them, just to help them out slightly. We have an awful lot of money at the moment, which is great. It means I can hire mercenaries. Bidding, my lord. And other stuff like that, but um, I probably can recruit an agent. Can I recruit any agents? I can't recruit any agents so far. That's a shame, but anyway, we have our army, which is on the move. And there isn't much we can do this turn. Uh, oh, technology. There is one more thing then. Technology. Um, got that. We got that. Um, champions, yeah. We'll do that. We'll end turn there. And while we go through this end turn phase, I am going to munch on a Kit Kat because I am absolutely starving. So I apologise if I make a loud munching sound in this end turn phase. Hope you've enjoyed this campaign so far. We're only a couple of episodes in. Well, this is the third episode, and I'm finding it a bit of a, more of a challenge than. Well, I wouldn't say more of a challenge than Carthage, because Carthage is a challenge in its own right, but something different. You can definitely get a feel in this game of the different factions and how they. how different cultures are portrayed. And it's certainly a big difference between um, a Carthaginian army to a Parthian army and vice versa. So it does take a while to get used to these. I've played a couple of online battles and I've mainly played as the Iceni or Swaby because I like those units and I like those. Oh, look at this. Well done, my friends. Well done. They're getting powerful, aren't they? Right, thank. Oh, they got. I got a couple of forces here, which are quite strong. I'm gonna have to be careful because they could come up here to me. But I'm gonna ignore them for now. Our allies are doing a pretty good job as a distraction for me over there. I'm gonna go straight for Kath. My general's gonna go for Kath. He hasn't gone very far, unfortunately. Uh, got quite a lot of money again. Is there anything I can build at all? Nothing. In that case, oh, I can actually raise second general, which probably I'm going to reinstate the Brotherhood. Recruit my, my second standing army, led by Manu Klapi. I don't know how to pronounce that name. He can actually start recruiting some units as well. So we will go with one, two, three, four units of spearmen, one, two, three units of slingers. Uh, one, two units of cav. That's half stack. We'll do that to begin with. We have the money to do so. And there's not much else we can do this turn. So we'll end turn again. And I will finish off my Kit Kat in this end turn phase. Very tasty. Right, what are Bactria doing? I'm a bit worried because Bactria seem to be setting up an army and they look to be pointing in my direction, so I hope I can recruit some units quickly in case they do come down there. My allies are doing very well, or they've actually held Bukhara this time. When they took it in the first part of my campaign, they didn't hold on to it and they lost it straight away, so it's great to see them actually hold on to it. I wanted it for myself, to be honest. I want to expand my own empire. But that'll certainly do for now. 
I'd rather them have it uh, as being my allies than my enemies, if that makes sense. And here we are at the end of the end turn phase. Logistics has been recruit the fallen agent champion. Great, so where's my capital? I'll do that straight away. Recruit agent. Recruit champion. 213, 213. They're all the same. Who can we pronounce? Demiritia will recruit you. Mission successful. Martial skills gone up by six. That was easy. War declared. Was this? Uh, nothing to do with us. Okay. Where's my champion? There is my champion. I don't want him now. He can go into my army, I think. I cannot and will not. Ah, oh, that's a shame. Why can't he go in my army? Does it change for the factions? I'm not we sure. Fight for you, my lord. Anyway, it doesn't matter. Awaiting party advance. Let's get my full stack army up to Kath. We will take Kath. From the Korosmi, or the Korasmi, not sure how to pronounce it. Where's my spy? I have a spy somewhere. Is that him there? It is. How may I serve you? Uh, go down here. Is I want to see what's down here. Twelve yes, out of twenty and eight. So between them, it's a full stack. Although they have been in a fight, and half of the units are missing. At your Can we assassinate? Cost a lot of money and. Not very good percentage. What about sabotage? Not so good either. What about attacking the city? We could poison the wells. We'll try and poison the wells. Successful! Excellent! That's great news. And he's gone up as well. Good for him. Let's increase his skills. Um. Campaign map movement range. When accompanying the general. Evading enemies. Critical success. I'd rather have critical success. Give him a better opportunity to actually assassinate. And turn. Oh, we got technology. Probably the best feature of the game is the whole remembering technology. So, last time we have recruitment of champion, which I've got now. Um, minus 3% upkeep costs. Minus three percent recruitment cost for all army units. That'd be useful. I'll probably go with that next then. That will help me out a lot. And end turn again. So it's taken a while to get a battle in this campaign. I have noticed that it's been pretty defensive. I've only got the one province, and I want to make sure I keep that. Cause I don't want to end this campaign before it starts. Really, I'd like to get a few battles at least. But my aim for this campaign really is to. Uh, Probably go north, take Kath, and try and take some of those nomadic tribes and build an empire from there. I have my allies then at the south to help and defend the south. I'm going to worry too much, apart from my own province, of course. But if I keep a large dark army there, then I can't see too much trouble. Here are my allies again. There are some features that I do like with Rome. Um, I know it's had a lot of bad press, and probably rightly so in a lot of cases, especially with the optimization. But some of the features I do like is that you can actually order your military allies to attack, which we saw um, just now. Well, we saw it, yeah, we just saw it just now, really, with um, our uh, allies attacking uh, Bactria there with the cursors right now. Um, I do like the. The campaign, not the campaign map, the tactical view on the battle map. I think that's a good addition as well, along with the line of sight. They're probably my three best features, three fe features I like the most anyway. How may I serve we could go up the bridge back here. I would Scout the out. World for right, here we go. Kath got walls. A bit worried. Got walls. 12 and 6, so nearly a full stack. We have Ready 20. Awful lot of troops. I'm gonna stay there for now anyway. Let them attack me if they do come out. Um, we're currently building our force here. My, my champion can give military training to these guys. That will help but these guys out a lot. Wish, oh Lord. While we recruit. So how many turns we have left to recruit? At your command. One more for all them. I'm happy with the half stack. For how now, may I serve for the brotherhood. Brother. 
uh, Bactria still holding Bukhara and they waging war on Marakanda. They're doing well. Bactria are getting really pushed back at the moment. They only have these two other provinces as well. And my spy, can he do damage? Assassination still haven't gone up. Military sabotage, not too good either. What about the second general? Assassination, 53 is a bit better. Military sabotage, 53 as well. And back to here itself, we could sabotage, we could poison the whales again. Uh, inside unrest, we'll try something different. And we failed, that's a shame. But he's still alive, that's the main thing. Okay, so I think we'll end turn. We may be fighting a battle up here in the north. We'll see what happens. It would be great if we could get a battle in this uh, episode. I do try to get a battle in every episode I record, if possible. So that way I get to balance out with some campaign map footage and some uh, battlefield footage. Yeah. And here come back to you right now. Don't know where they're going. They are panicking. I could probably go for Bactria while they're weak. But I want to take those northern provinces out. My allies, as you can see, Amul and Bukhara are like a buffer at the moment to Kath. If I take Kath, I haven't got to worry about Bactria in the north. My allies can worry about Bactria. If they war against Bactria anyway, I just joined in. So, you know, it may be possible that I could get peace with Bactria if I want to at the later stage, if I have to as well. Um, it's just a shame that my, my province is actually below my allies and not nearer the north. But it's what happens. And it looks like my enemies have run off from Kath, which is a very, very strange decision by the AI. They must have known I was coming. But they just had a near full stack between the two armies there. So I find this very strange. What's this? New political intrigue has developed. Promotion, okay. I don't know what that means, but however. The population is motivated and my general has a trait. But these guys have disappeared what for some strange cruelty. reason. None will escape. They do have the garrison army there, tribesmen and steppy archers. I'm going to assault them straight away. I don't think I need siege equipment. I think you can just open the doors now in this game. Uh, but I have enough. Uh, slingers and uh, horse javelin men to probably do enough damage to these. Oh, look, this is a nice looking campaign. Nice river flowing through the settlement. I haven't seen this before in a Total War game, so. Should be a new perspective. They got one capture point by the looks of it. But that river certainly makes this interesting. We'll have to have a look now at this. Uh, this settlement on the battle map but it looks good two kind of islands big river flowing beneath them right then it's dry so we'll find out where's the main gate that's what we need really the main gate they seem to have a gate here right by the capture point so I'll probably deploy here I won't bother going a different side of the river so we'll group all my spearmen. Just put them in a long line. Like so. The slingers. Can go in front and be grouped. My general can just go on the flank. And my horsemen. My horse skirmishers I should say. Can be in a formation along here. But let's have a look at this map a minute. This looks interesting. So you've got like the island over here. And you've got the wall. But this is interesting because if you were fighting with ships in this battle for instance actually I don't think you can because this wasn't near the coast but it's pretty cool if you had to have ships you could actually sail through here and disembark here maybe go for the but I don't think you could because it's not by the by the ocean so ships wouldn't be able to deploy in this battlefield but it's pretty uh, you know it's, it looks nice it does look really nice Right. I didn't group all my slingers, so I'm going to group these again. Here we go. 
just beyond those walls. Renowned for our achievement and the choicest pleasures as our reward. Like my spearmen can actually at your command. destroy we await your orders. the gatehouse. My slingers to begin with Fire! can attack the tribesmen. And I'll put precision shot on as well. The rest of my slingers, where are they? Oh, I forgot to deploy them. They're over here. <laughs> Oopsie. Uh, can we actually climb up anything here or get in the city? Bridges are destroyed there, so we can't go there. Um, yeah, these two units of slingers, then they're going to have to come across somehow. Orders. My eastern slingers taking all As sorts of damage. Say, the men are wavering. At the moment. Get this uh, advisor off. My men are wavering terribly now. They've lost a lot of men. Back, back. Withdraw. And they are absolute chickens. What are your orders? Get my men to run. I'll turn on Frenzy Charge in a minute so they can get there a bit quicker. Do I see elephants over here? I see elephants. But it doesn't seem anybody's controlling them. It's weird. Interesting stuff. All interesting stuff. Elephants. Right, Frenzy Charge. I want to get this gate destroyed. If my men can just hold on. Ready for order. Bring more of my speedman up. Find your targets. Come on. We await your orders. Engage! That's what I want. Just get fire damage that gate as quickly as possible. Look how many men they got in this gate, Jesus. Are oh, they doing well? They're doing well. Gate's on fire. Back, man, back. Just hold up. Just hold up Spear as long as you can. As you wish. We await your order. I'm just going to pile everybody in. We are at your command. Kill the skies. Damage is being dealt to the gate. Do have plenty of spearmen to throw into this. Fire damage has been done. Orders, my lord. Form a square. Spears ready. We understand. Can all these men charge through now. Bring them all back. Keep my slingers firing. For some reason, these slingers won't come across. Don't know why. That's where I want them. There we are. The gate's wide open now. These men are going to turn around and charge them. These slingers can deal with some of these archers that are on in on the wall. What are your orders? I will charge them in a second. Three, two, one, frenzy charge. Let's just get them in there. My slingers are doing some damage. I hope I will do some damage, in fact. Throw the tribes in. Spears at your command. Bring the rest of my spears up. Fire! We await your orders. There we go. Just throwing everybody in now. It's a big mess. My slingers forward. Orders, my lord. Still have these three units of spearmen. Spear. At your command. As you say. Oh. Bit of freeze in there, bit of a glitch. It's glitching a little bit now. Quite a lot of units on the battlefield. Bring my general forward as well. I'm 
we lose him some of our units in the center now. Against the tribesmen. Swift and back, men, back. Get some of our horses in there. Just gonna be a big mess. I haven't really thought this through properly, but oh well. Let's get flaming shot and precision shot in. Spread out some of my skirmishing troops. We are at your command. Advance at speed. Missile armed riders. Orders, my lord. Horse skirmishing. Riders advance. We should have the advantage in this battle. My slingers are losing men though. And my slingers are gone from here now. Don't have the best of range, unfortunately, these skirmishers. But they. Do have my spearmen left as well. These two are currently engaged at the front here. There's definitely no way to flank around, is there? Let's have a look. It is a causeway here. I don't know if they'll get over that bridge though. Unfortunately. Just looking around the battlefield to see if there's any other way. There's a bridge here. Doors open here. Probably could have come around here, through there, and into the settlement itself. But it's all the way around there now. There's no point in this battle. They're holding up reasonably well. We are at your command. Just throwing everything we at them now. At your command. We're giving them the kitchen sink. Frenzy charge. Precision shots. Let's get some precision shots going. Missile cavalry. Fire! Just using precision shot whenever I can. At the ready. Advance Bring my general a fit further ready. forward. At the double. How many men do they have left? Not too many by the looks of things. They are starting to waver in the centre now. And look at this, the fire doing its job. Taking lots of them out, got them shattered, got them running away. Plenty of their men are starting to run away now. Bring my horsemen out from there. Missile cavalry doing its job. I do have my spearmen in reserve over here to bring in if my spearmen fail in the center here. I may actually pull all my men out from here. I just keep raining arrows upon them. Cavalry! Missiles ready! My lord! Out of double! Try and bring a spearman unit out. We're losing a cavalry unit in the centre. Swift and we are at your command! Missile cavalry at your command! Forever loyal! Let's try and get all these men out. We're going to rain death upon our enemies now. A tactical retreat. And there we go, it's cleared the mess. And we can see now what's left for us to take out. And there we go, they're gone now. We can charge in by our own leisure. I don't think they have any units left, so... 
There we are. I didn't even have to take the capture point. Took them all out anyway. Close victory. Probably could have fought that battle better than what I did. I did lose an awful lot of infantry spearmen, as you can see here. Look, green. Uh, barely any green left there and there. Totally gone there. Slingers wasted there. But it had the desired effect. We lost 800 out of 1,800 odd, so lost nearly half our men. But we killed an awful lot of them in the process, which was worth it. And we've taken this province straight away as well. Taken Karth. So there we are, we can raise, subjugate, loot, occupy, subjugate. Uh... I wouldn't mind having another client state to be honest, so maybe I'll subjugate them. I think I will. I'll subjugate them. Peace has been negotiated with my other client states, my other allies. So these guys like us now. And if we go on to the diplomacy, we will see now that the North actually likes me very much. I can concentrate on Bactria now if I want to, which I think is what I'll do. I'll try and take some of these Bactrian lands out. If I can conquer this kind of area, and have that sort of power in the north defending me, I will be looking fairly good. So that's going to be my plan now. My army can start to go south again, down over here. And I'm going to end the episode there. I've been Dragonheart. Until next time, goodbye.